We're today at Gulf Beach Resorts, and we have an issue with this particular door with some stamped concrete, and the water is going underneath the stamped concrete, and this is due to the sliding glass door. I want to show you what that looks like down here. You can see this is bubbling up, and it's there's some cracking going on here, and the water's coming up from underneath this track. So our goal today is to take this track up, fix what's underneath it so that it's not going to get underneath the, the concrete and allow us to uh, create a waterproof between this and that. So that's what we're going to work on. So we have the frame out and we noticed there was some wetness and actually a hole up here. And if you take a look, you can see that the wood is discolored from water. This is actually moist and there was a hole in the drywall. And if you follow back, you'll see that there's moisture here. And then again, there's some more moisture here. And then again, there's some more moisture here. And this is clearly, uh, you can tell from the way that the moisture has dried in the past, that this is an ongoing problem. This is clearly something that's happening from above the door. Now let's take a look down at the bottom of the door. We just took the frame off, so we haven't started cleaning it out yet. But you can clearly see we have chunks of concrete. So we need to repair this. Clearly, you hear hollow spots. So we're going to uh, be working on this, and uh, we'll get right back to you. So we've encountered a problem underneath the track, as we thought we might. Let's take a look at what's going on. We have some spalling here in the rebar. And then if you look, there's also spalling going on in the front. The reason this happened is, Whoever tried to patch this, whenever they patch this, they use concrete and they put the door back while the concrete was wet and they didn't use the right kind of concrete, so thus it allowed water to intrude. Now this is going all the way the whole length, causing this bubbling. Here it hollow the entire length. So we actually have a serious problem that's on the outside. It needs to be addressed. Zoom in down here. You're gonna see the whole story as we feel. These are two slabs. They were done in two separate floors. This is the original building. This is the slab. When they do it this way, they have rebar come out and end in holes. This piece of rebar goes through the O loops and ties it all together and then they pour it. That's what happened and because this was never sealed, it rusted and spalled. So I'm here today on the second day at our Gulf Beach Resort project. And I'm here with Kathy Collins. She's the property manager, the rental manager here. And I want to show you what we ended up doing. That horrible hole with all that spalling. Take a look. We're able to patch it with a special kind of concrete that's uh, got a clay-like material in it, so it's going to be resistant to water. And then we put the frame back in, and now we've prepared the doors so that they move very smoothly. And then we put a little bit of a patch on the outside to attempt to match up to the uh, existing structure, this existing material, and then once this is all nice and dry, then Kathy's team's going to come in here and they're going to paint this up to match, and it'll be all nice and done, and we can turn it over to Kathy. What do you think, Kathy? I think it looks wonderful, and I am so glad that Beacon Doors and Windows was able to repair this um, in a timely and not noisy manner, because that was very important because our resort is kind of right now, and it's bothering the guests, and tomorrow we will paint it.